Once the ventilation size up is complete and the ground ladders are placed for a defensive approach, the ventilation team assembles the necessary tools and equipment to prepare for roof access. The first ventilation team member to the roof is the lead hook. The lead hook will sound an area approximately 10 feet in diameter or large enough for the entire ventilation team and equipment to assemble. Once the staging area is sounded and determined safe by the lead hook, the rest of the ventilation team assembles on the roof staging area. If a thermal image camera is available, it can be used to help determine roof safety. On a residential structure, the 45 degree inspection hole is optional. On most pitched residential structures, the rafter direction is known and the rafters are commonly 2 by 4 or larger. The 45 degree inspection hole may be necessary if the ventilation team is unfamiliar with the actual building construction, such as the possibility of lightweight metal roof trusses or other uncommon construction types. If an inspection hole is used, the placement is determined by the lead hook at a 45 degree angle towards the outside wall away from the path of travel. The path of travel is determined by the lead hook or the company officer. The path may be affected by the way the roof was constructed or other obstacles. It is recommended to travel up toward the ridge as the first choice. Once the team has advanced to the ridge of the residential roof, the lead hook calls for a smoke indicator hole to be cut by the saw operator as close to the ridge as possible. The saw operator cuts an indicator hole and the lead hook clears the hole by pushing the D-handle of the rubbish hook approximately 12 inches into the hole. After reading the smoke from the hole, the lead hook confirms with the company officer to proceed toward the heat hole location. If conditions allow, the ventilation team will continue toward the heat hole location, traveling approximately two feet below the peak of the roof. The lead hook will call for smoke indicator holes as needed. Once the lead hook and the company officer make the decision to stop, the ventilation team will prepare to cut a heat hole back from the last smoke indicator hole. It is important for the entire ventilation team to stay on the sounded path and monitor the conditions of the smoke indicator holes. This will help provide for firefighter safety. The lead hook directs the saw operator to cut a heat hole using the five cut center rafter louver method. It is important that the lead hook sound a large area for the saw operator to work. Once the offensive heat hole is complete, the lead hook louvers the heat hole by pushing down on the closest side to direct the smoke, heat, and fire away from the ventilation team members. Wind direction will dictate which side to louver down. The company officer directs the lead hook to sound back towards the initial roof staging area. Once the ventilation team is a safe distance away or near the ladder, the ventilation team should look back and evaluate the effectiveness of the heat hole. If the heat hole is pressurized or being overrun by fire, the ventilation team should consider dropping back to a safe location and put in an additional heat hole.